Hi, I'm Mark from Dunwoody College of Technology. I'm in the weld shop today, and uh, we're going to have a lesson on uh, gas tungsten arc welding, uh, formerly known as GTAW or TIG welding, and that's tungsten inert gas. The objective today is to identify the uh, TIG torch components. Also, we're going to have a demonstration uh, of the assembly of a TIG torch. Uh, I'm going to go over a few parts with you before we get out in the lab and actually assemble the torch and maybe produce a weld today. Uh, the first part that I want you to know is uh, the, the, the difference actually between a water-cooled torch and an air-cooled torch. Water-cooled torch is simply that. Water runs through it and uh, comes up and around the head and back down into a water cooler. An air-cooled torch, which we use a lot here at Dunwoody in our lab, is one line. So you've got your gas and your electricity that uh, falls through, down through one line. Moving to the water-cooled torch, uh, the blue line, that's your gas line. The black line is just wa a straight water line. And the red line is your power line and water actually flows back down through the power line. That's a common mistake that's made in uh, most manufacturers when they set up torches. You can actually reverse that. And later on, uh, uh, in, when you're in class with me, I'll uh, show you uh, how uh, not to hook that up wrong. Um, the next part following up the water-cooled torch, and I'm going to use this air-cooled torch here, is the uh, torch body cover, and that will slip off. And that's simply a plastic uh, cover. You'll want to ensure that that is, uh, that's not cracked or damaged in any way, because you have all your power coming right here. So you could get electrocuted if this is damaged. Moving on up the torch is the uh, torch head. And some of the heads are uh, uh, rigid heads, so you, you're non-bendable. And some of them are flex heads that you can bend the head. Here we have a rigid head, and at Dunwoody we use rigid heads. The next part is a, uh, your back cap, and your back cap is installed like this on the torch. Uh, the next part is also your gasket, and the gasket's already on this. But we, a lot of people will, the, the proper name for this is uh, an insulator. So that insulates the heat from the ceramic cup. The next part is your collet, and that's what actually pinches the electrode or tungsten and keeps it in place. The next part is your collet body, and that's what holds the collet from falling out. And it also uh, diffuses the gas. You have small gas holes in this. The next part is your ceramic cup. In a ceramic cup, you'll have different numbers on that ceramic cup that's uh, uh, measured in sixteenths from the inside diameter. Your next uh, uh, part is your electrode or tungsten. And we'll learn about uh, the different types of tungsten uh, later on in class. So we're going to go out in the lab and we're going to assemble a TIG torch and hopefully uh, strike up an arc. Well, we're in the lab here at Dunwoody and uh, we're in the uh, TIG uh, bay or better known as Blue Bay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go back over the TIG components with you. Starting at the rear, uh, this is a DENS machine plug or a DENS connector. Uh, right here, we're using the air-cooled TIG torch, so it's, again, it's one line, and your gas, your argon or your inert gas will go through this line. Also, your power is coming down from this line, too. So, with this style of DENS connector, uh, we're going to have uh, Joe here, uh, one of our students at Dunwoody, assemble that. And so we're going to inspect, too, when you're looking at this, we can expect to see if it's sealed good. And we've done that with a wrench. You can unscrew this line to, to change out a line, but you'd grab a hold of a, with a big pair of pliers, small pliers here, and turn and tighten that up snug. So Joel will go, Joel will go ahead and assemble that.
this particular connector is uh, made by uh, CK. So when you tighten that up. So that's the rear of the torch, which then this will actually go into the machine and we'll show you that later on. So now we're going to start with uh, one of those components. Uh, at first it's your torch body cover and Joel will pull, pull that back, slide that all the way back off. And there's where the, the line connects to the actual torch. Okay, so you would take two wrenches and tighten that up and assemble that. Uh, inspect your torch body cover that there's no cracks or damage, you know, to that because you don't want to you don't want to have the uh, high frequency bleed through and hit you on that or electricity to get electrocuted. So we'll slide that back up. So what Joe is doing, he slid that back up on the rigid head. Okay, so this is a non-flexible head. Uh, we're not supposed to bend these. So this is a 70 degree angle head. <clears throat> and we'll have uh, Joe now uh, assemble the, the insulator or gasket. Uh, proper terminology would be insulator. And that's gonna protect the uh, ceramic cup when that gets hot when you're welding. It's gonna protect this head uh, from melting the rubber here or getting this uh, weather checked and cracked. So you could also get electrocuted off of that too. The next uh, a part of assembly is your collet body. And Joel, insert that. So you want to tighten that all the way down. Yep, and just hand snug is just fine. Uh, the next part would be the collet, and that is the one that's uh, split down the middle here. And then you can actually put, uh, you either have your choice, you can put your ceramic cup on or you can insert the tungsten. You can go ahead and put the ceramic cup. That particular ceramic cup is a number seven. And again, that's a measurement of uh, 1 16th. So it's 7 16th inside diameter. We'll insert the uh, electrode or tungsten. That's a 3 32nd uh, electrode. Uh, it's seven inches uh, in uh, long in length, uh, which then, if we're gonna use that long of a tungsten, we'll need the long back cap. The back caps will uh, come in three different sizes. You'll have a short, a medium, or a long. Uh, the short, sometimes uh, people refer to those as buttons. And we'll tighten that up. Now Joe has tightened that up and the tungsten is at, set at the proper distance. And we're ready to uh, insert the, uh, plug in the uh, DENS machine connector or DENS connector into the machine. And here we're uh, using the VTEC uh, 205 Lincoln uh, uh, inverter TIG welder, AC-DC. You turn it on from the rear. We'll insert the uh, DENS machine plug connector through here. This is a gas through air-cooled torch. So we have our gas coming from our flow meter down through the back of the machine inside and out through the torch. Okay. We also have our, our ground. So we want to make sure that we check all these connections that there's, uh, there's no uh, cuts or tears in the uh, insulation. We have a good ground. Joe is going to do an aluminum weld for us today. Uh, he's using 8th uh, uh, inch aluminum, uh, 50 series 8th inch aluminum. And we are set on the uh, AC. Two step remote control. He's using a foot, uh, remote foot control. And we'll see if we can get a little arc time here. Have at her, Joe.
Well, I think Joe did a real good job uh, welding this uh, aluminum coupon, and uh, I hope this helps you uh, students here at Dunwoody uh, understanding a little bit of, uh, about a, uh, the GTAW, or gas tungsten arc welding, and the uh, TIG torch uh, components. Thank you.